As we move on to the second leg, that is the Iroquois Stakes. This race does award 10 points towards the 2025 Kentucky Derby. It's the first one to give out points. I can't believe we're already, we're already saying that. They're going a mile, uh, and you got a healthy field, again, of uh, two-year-olds. You have a field of 12 in here. Um, a competitive field. I think that you have an interesting angle here where the pace set up, you get a, a great mix of pace, speed on the inside, closers on the outside. I think if you're a pace makes the race types of player, you got an interesting uh, dilemma here to figure out. I am going to save for the people who, who I love in this race. And we're going to start off with you. Who'd you have on top? Yeah, um, I love Sandman. You know, what a just a, a classy colt by Tappet. Bought for $1.2 million as a two-year-old back in March of this year. Um, really solid last outing at Saratoga. We might even take a look at that, uh, yeah, that race replay and that 100K main special weight um, running a 91 Equibase speed figure. Uh, yeah, he sat in that rail mid-pack, uh, made him move up the rail in the final turn. You'll see him on the inside there in the West Point Silks. You know, he's kind of running a little bit different. Then he kind of straightens out, and, and he just takes it to him. I mean, he's battling, he's battling, battling, battling. I mean, this is a maiden race. I mean, and look at him. He just takes it to him. I think that was really impressive, um, especially for a debut. And that was after a, a furlong stretch out from his, his debut race of six furlongs. Um, so I think just one furlong more is, is really not going to be a problem for him. And even might even be better. Um, he's going to probably just sit right off the pace. Um, and, you know, being on the outside with that mile shoot at Churchill, I don't think it's an issue at all um, being in that seven hole. Mark Cassie and Jose Ortiz in the last three years in route races at Churchill went at 44%. That's wild, 67% of the money. Uh, Mark Cassie was killing it back in back in May and June. He's won four out of his five last starts in route races at Churchill. Um, and then also, you know, with these two-year-old races, it's it can be so tough. Um, to handicap these, especially, you know, I think five horses in here but only have one race under their belt. Um, so I think, you know, progeny is really important. Um, so his mare, Distorted Music by Distorted Humor, has lifetime progeny of 33% uh, in route, dirt routes. So you know, I think this horse has a ton of potential. Um, he ran the best uh, last out speed figure of a 91. Yeah, there it is, a 33%. So I'm liking him, especially at six to one. Um, you know, Cassie notoriously, as I worked for him, doesn't really win uh, in first time out. So that fifth to me isn't a huge deal. And the fact that he came back that much better um, is a huge plus. Love the six to one. Uh, I'll be taking him all the way. But again, this race to me was really tough. Um, you just never know who's going to win these races uh, and where they're going to come from, for example. So in the last 10 years, um, five winners of the Iroquois have come come from Ellis Park in their last race, two at Prairie Meadows, two at Saratoga, and then one at Arlington Park, um, my old stomping grounds, which does not exist anymore. But um, so they're coming from all over. It's just, and even Dale Romans, he's he's won three out of the last eight years here. And I love Dale Romans, but, you know, his numbers aren't uh, uh, consistently top tier, you could say, but um, he's a good trainer. But um, yeah, so we'll see. Um one that really interested me, um, and I was trying to find stats because I wanted to like this horse more than I could on paper, is that three, Jack's time. Um, I went, I watched that race like three times this morning, and I thought it was just so impressive. And, and yes, it was at Prairie Meadows, but like I just said, two out of the last 10 years, uh, horses came from Prairie Meadows to win the Iroquois Stakes. So they ended up winning by 10 lengths, um, 10 and three quarters lengths. Um, He's the one there. He had a really tough start um, at the beginning, and he just rushed up uh, to get that front end. Um, wasn't the fastest time in the world. And that uh, that six-horse big swag, by, by the way, won next time out. Um, but you'll see him just absolutely just turn on the gas here. Um, and sort another thing to point out, he, he's bought for $325,000 as an Iowa bred. Why? Hmm. Why? I, and he was bred by all, all boss stables, which very, you know, reptile group. But look at that. I mean, this horse could just be a freak. I have no idea. Morning line 10 to one. I am incredibly intrigued. Um, 20 to one. 20 to one. Yeah. So Even I'm definitely going to add him in there. The board too. Yeah. He could run up, the, you know, run up the track and get last. I don't know. But that was really, really impressive. Um, 
and you know you can't knock horses that are coming from prairie meadows and the fact they thought of them that much for three hundred twenty-five thousand for for an iowa bread i mean you can't run them in kentucky downs and get that two million purse you know yeah. so <laughs> and the uh, intermission of dam as well yep i was looking at that dam she is actually um pretty experienced uh as a broodmare not the greatest stats uh in the world but it's another intriguing reason of why why would they three hundred twenty five thousand? but i do love not this time uh, as a stallion so but also i gotta look how how well this horse has been breezing um maybe the number is a little bit skewed from churchill and saratoga to prairie meadows but he's still throwing bullets so hard not to knock it so 20 to 1 i'll definitely throw him in um all right, well, we're going to uh, – we you got two more, but I'm going to jump in because the people want to know about my my 12 to 1 shot here. And I'm going to give you a little background on the Iroquois and how I landed upon my horse. Last year's winner was a horse by the name of West Saratoga, a race that uh, I, I nailed. It was one that I put out on our YouTube shorts. Uh, and I'm, I'm very comfortable in the early races of the Derby Trail. I get I get a lot worse as we get to the big ones, as people know that have watched this show. But early, I do really well. And one thing I've kind of leaned upon in this particular race is the fact that it's a mile, right? And you mentioned a horse, Jack's Time, very uh, good stuff you put on there. But the victory was at five and a half furlongs, okay? Uh, the one raced at six and a half furlongs. The fours raced at seven. You have some horses that have gone uh, seven furlongs. Okay, so we'll put that in the, in the, in the back of our minds for one reason. Um, I also like horses that have had success over the Churchill Downs track coming into this race and which uh, West Saratoga had last year, two seconds coming into this race. And West Saratoga was your most raced racehorse coming into this race, a foundation that the horse had built up. So started off four and a half furlongs, five furlongs, seven furlongs, stretching him out over the course of multiple races, not just go and let's go five and a half and jump right up to that mile and hope the horse can handle it. Um, you know, and uh, West Saratoga also came from Ellis Park last year. Now West Saratoga had the advantage of being a horse that was going to be on the front end, which I definitely would prefer as opposed to the running style of the horse who I am picking as my single at 12 to one, your number six, strumming and uh i drew a line which you can do very easily here through this race two back at ellis park because it was on the turf didn't take to it um actually did pass some horses late in the race but let's just toss that race out okay and look at the increasing speed figures on a general sense starting off in the 70s moving to the 80s going up to the 90s had a sloppy track at churchill it's where you get this 79 but still finished second not terrible and then comes out and puts up an 88 closing like a bat come going from 10th to 1st, 5-6 path in this race at Ellis Park on August 26th. These, This is reminding me so much of West Saratoga. West Saratoga came into this race last year with five races, a first and three seconds. Strumming, six races, a first and three seconds. Um, and, and everything to me was just popping off the, the page as you have – in exact same scenario as last year uh, when West Saratoga went off at, guess what, Ben? 12 to 1. He was an 8 to 1 morning line, went off at 12 to 1 and paid off $26 in that race. You know who else came out of last year's Iroquois? The Preakness winner sees the gray who finished uh, fourth fourth last year in, in the Iroquois too. So uh, this race has the, uh, the ability to get them going. Um, Patriot Spirit, I believe, uh, or it might have been Risk It. Risk It was the Steve Asmussen with the big gun runner who came in last year uh, and went off as a favorite and was just beat by the horse that uh, had some success both at the distance, at the track, and had a nice foundation of races. So hopefully I've done enough to convince you. Now you, in the lead-up to this show, said, I love it, but I got a stat that uh, you're not going to be happy about. So you might as well give the people the honest opinion of where the stat that you found. Yeah, no, absolutely. And well, first off, I want to say, I mean, yes, yeah, he's a great, you know, was great. Um, but uh, uh, historically, so horses who have run in the Iroquois before running in the Kentucky Derby are 0 for 29 since the horse, <laughs> the, the race is first inaugural race and only uh, two in the money, um, as you can see with Caesar Gray and West Saratoga in last year's Derby. Um, 
But anyway, the the stat I want to I don't want to burst your bubble or anything, but trainer oh, John, okay. John Hancock uh, has not not won a route race at Churchill Downs since 1981. He's over 82. Um, so that is something to consider. Horses are different, you know, but then they're trainers sometimes. But it's just if we're going off numbers, which we kind of have to with these two year olds sometimes, it's definitely something to consider. Um, I know what you're saying, though. He does look a lot like West Saratoga. Um, and I think in races like this, horses like that can score um and i'm never gonna talk you off a 12 to 1 so absolutely love it um uh, numbers wise though i think jonathan's way uh that nine horse at nine to two is probably gonna get you nicest roi um romped in his debut at saratoga when that 100k made a special weight by four and a quarter lengths um running 89 esf um and when you watch that race yeah so you'll see this at the start he got pinched at the start pretty far back seventh there um He's a number uh, seven there on the outside. But look at this start. It, it, it's pretty bad. Um, he's just way back there in the pink. And and he kind of goes up. He's staying there, number eight there. And um, I don't know. You get to this part in the race, you look, and he, he kind of looks like he's laboring already. Um, but you'll really just see. He just, just turns it on. Um, I think he's the six, right? Yeah, the six thing. Yeah, look at look at him rush up there. Six. We'll move it up just so I can see the number. But yeah, he's the six, and here's where he's making his move. And and the, the concern I had, uh, you know, the reason I ended up singling was the fact that the look, the Vacoma babies have been unbelievable. Mm -hmm. Um, and that was part of I think this burst, and everyone might tend to lean towards that. I'm not sure that Vacoma has any horses that have run routes yet. Uh, no, uh, yeah, very, very good call. He is not, um, at least not that I could find in uh, in the stats I was looking at. But um, horses by Vacoma are winning at 32% right now in their career second start. Yeah. Um, but anyway, look at this horse just go. I mean, yeah, he's looking nice. This is a career debut. I mean, I mean, he's riding him hard, not going to lie. But, you know, I don't know, that was a really impressive, especially at Saratoga. Those maidens races at Saratoga are like a stakes race anywhere else almost. Um, yeah. And also, too, just Phil Bauer and Joel Rosario, you know, they don't have a whole lot uh, of races together, but again, they win. Uh, 50, 56% win percentage together, 67% in the money, five wins from nine starts, um, and a positive ROI of plus 144%. So, you know, nine to two. I like that horse quite a bit. Um, you know, and Owen Almighty there, the five, I think he's going to be bet down way more than than he deserves. Uh, I like him. You know, don't get me wrong. That he's an undefeated Colt by Spitestown. Broke his maiden at Churchill, you know, um, in June by three and a half, running a 95 Echo Bay speed figure, which is actually tied uh, for the fourth best Echo Bay speed figure for any two-year-old first-time starter in the past 180 days. Uh, so he's fast. Um, came right back to win that seven furlong Ellis Park Juvenile by four and three quarters lengths, beating the six in here politically correct. Um, yeah, so I mean, he's post seven in that last race on the outside and, and kind of got somewhat into a three way duel. He's going to head ahead with politically correct, going into the lane and, and barely started to drift um, at the very end. Um, and then he just straightened up and drew clear um but that, that's what these young horses i mean they're they're learning every single race um and and maybe in, in these little two-year-old greatest stakes races or even non-greatest stakes races like you said with your six of strum and the more races they have the better um you know so i do like owen almighty but also brian lynch um kind of like your strum and is oh for 19 in the past year in stakes races at churchill so that's something to to consider um and um on the breeding side though i love the mare tempers rising she actually finished fourth on uh, the kentucky oaks in 2020 um and owen almighty is her first fall so she is undefeated uh progeny as a mare but <laughs> could best the field here 